Diary entry of Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly for Saturday the 20th of June 2020 CE. Saturday the 20th of June 2020. Okay. All right. Well, it's been uh, three weeks, I think, practically to the day, or something like that. About three weeks since my last day in diary entry. And here we go. I had a, um injection again. Down at the... Um, Mental health in Tuggeranong. Uh, Dale picked me up as usual. Standard affair. The uh, the Indian lady or Bangladeshi or Pakistani, whatever she is. Um, she uh, gave me my injection and my blood pressure was back to normal. The previous time it had been a little bit high, but this time it was back to normal. So um, yeah, whatever. But um, yep, and um, had that. Uh, same old, same old, going down the street to give me tobacco at the, uh, at the garage and tobacconist and places I go, uh, at the, uh, cold tobacconist as well at times, just here in Chisholm shops, same old place that I go to get my tobacco. I've had, I've eaten Subway a few times when I've been going down to get my tobacco when it's been open, um, usually meatball and, um, sort of get three macadamia bickies from Subway and lemon, lemon tea, Lipton lemon tea, um. Just a sec, I should actually have a bottle of the stuff here. There it is. That, that came from Subway. Um, it's empty, of course, but um, Mum's made some, ironically, Mum's made some um, iced tea earlier this evening, which is in the fridge now, and I think I'll probably go off and get some shortly because uh, we're out of juice because we're not shopping until potentially tomorrow. Mum's not shopping until potentially tomorrow or maybe Monday or something because um, Bridget can't actually get, her car is actually being fixed or something. Well, so there's an issue with her car. Just have David's or something. I'm not exactly sure what the story is, but um. So so mum, we're out of juice, which we normally have. So mum sort of made up some iced tea, and I'll go get some shortly. So um, I don't think Rob's been around for for a while now. Um, don't think he showed up that weekend. Haven't had any visitors. Haven't apart from that visit down to Tuggeranong. Haven't gone anywhere. Haven't done anything major. Haven't had any online um, normal enough contact. The lead singer of Fire Tiger, Tiff Al Kourish, they're a band on which have their videos on YouTube and stuff. I'm a friend of hers on Facebook. Haven't really chatted yet. Uh, she initially they initially followed me on Twitter, ironically, and uh, started watching their videos. But I connected. I made a friend request to her on Facebook, and she's she accepted the friend request. And uh, who knows? Maybe she'll chat with me one day. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I like Fire Tiger anyway, so um, I don't, I don't know, I've got like four or five, six friends or something on um, Facebook, which I talked to. Uh, me, uh, sorry, uh, my brother Greg, his wife Christy, Charles Mortlockov, a friend of mine who I used to work with in Australian quarantine, um, Michelle Bullock, uh, those four. Plus, a lady called Renee Daly, who's just someone I met for a request to in the States, I think she is, in the US, who only goes on Facebook very rarely or something by the looks of it, and uh, Tiff Alcouri. So, yeah, there's only six six friends. I've got 180-odd followers, but I'm not sure if they, some of them might look at my posts, I suppose, you know. A follower is not necessarily a friend in the Facebook system. So she's a new friend, and I'll probably keep this. I'll probably keep Tiff because I'm a bit of a fan of Fire Tiger. So I'll just leave that be. I think. So um, yeah, just usual, same old, same old going on. Um, uh, just just down the streets to give me tobacco. Um, the the same old mail stuff from eBay, CDs and comics. Nothing, no, no change. I've got a uh, coming up soon enough is a, a an interview with a phone interview with NDIS to make my new plan for the next the next year, which it's based on. So that's coming up. I think next month, probably. Or soon enough, it's coming up. Um, I'll probably get a warning. I, I don't know, but um, I'll probably call beforehand a few days or something, and that'll let me know or something. But um, apart from that, nothing else really going on. I I don't really have any plans at this stage. Uh, oh, well, Sue Gray, Mum's family friend Sue Gray's been around a bit, and her dad, Tom Gray, was uh, was here the other night with Sue, and um, they were looking at a ruddy big map of Hull, I think it was, and um, the Hull region was really, really very big map, like one and a half metres practically by one and a half metres. It was a big map, and um, 
they're giving us standard sort of city maps. Really quite a big one. I, I was chat to them briefly and still we'll see if you have a night as um, last night as well. And um, the lady Maria Gordek uh, in, the, in the church, which one goes to the Catholic church um, here at Corpus Christi in Dagorong, she brought bread again and she brings it regularly enough. Um, so we got some bread and uh, my mum and a shawl. And mum gave Sue Gray a rug, which she knitted for, um, I think it's for Sue or Tom, maybe her dad. I'm not sure who's it's for, for it's exactly. But I have a very attractive looking rug. She's done a couple of them for this and that. Um, so that's that's the only visitors we've had here at 29 Merriman. And uh, mostly, for the most part, quiet life, really. Um, yeah, yeah, generally quiet life has been going on. Nothing much happening. Um, the coronavirus is still raging on, and uh, they talk about a second wave of things. Um, I think it'll just keep on going until it's done most of its course and infected most people gradually, probably. I don't think it's going to disappear anytime soon. Um, but they're re restarting social connectedness a little bit anyway. You know, at events and things like that, more and more people can get on the buses and things like that. And so... Um, just have to live with the, the virus. Personally, my advice, if if the international community wanted to take it seriously, is just just let it do its thing. Don't bother trying to fight it. Let it go through it, because once it's gone, it'll be gone. This way, it'll just hang on permanently, probably. But if you just let it do its course, let it run through the population and take out who it's going to take out, because that's what it's meant to do, probably the way the disease is designed, and then it'll probably come to an end. But this way, it'll, they'll pr it'll probably just keep on going permanently, practically. If they don't, if they don't completely eradicate it, it's just going to keep on going. So they're making they're, they're making madness out of it. I mean, uh, diseases, I think, are probably there for a reason. I think God probably brings them because of severe sin or something which has entered society on an issue. And um, I don't know for sure. In the Torah of Israel, it uh, talks about God visits, visits disease upon the people. So, you know. But, um, yeah, so that's, the coronavirus is still going on. Um, restrictions are being lightened up a bit, but that's still going on. That's active news. Uh, all the Black Lives Matter has been a big fuss recently, but it's died down in the last few days. Um, not, the protests are not so severe anymore. And apart from that, mostly business is normal um, in the world. In my life, it's... Just same old, same old, really, as I was saying. And nothing nothing major. And um, I don't really have any specific plans made out yet for this decade. It was always the plan, potentially on January 1st or early January, I suppose, to um, sit down and start making plans. But I haven't been able to come up with anything. Um, no inspiration dropped in. All towards the end of 2019, I was making plans to really start making a plan in early January. Zippo! Zilch, zero, nada happened. Nothing happened because just nothing came along. I just... <sighs> status quo. All I conclude was the status quo, same old, same old. That's all I really ever conclude is just go with the flow of what I'm currently doing. And at this stage, that's just the flow for this decade. It's just on with the videos that I'm doing and the writing, which has started again for June. That's something which has started again. I've done some Hugh Cook Chronicles of an Age of Darkness fan fiction, and it's just uh, on we go with the same old, same old, really. So at this stage, I suppose the 2020s is mapped out by myself. It's just the same old, same old, but I'm getting a... Uh, things are underway for my web... for my... web... my cam thing, my handy cam thing, my video cam thing, to uh, get out and about in the Canberra region and do some videos, which will better quality videos of places around Canberra for my YouTube account. So that's generally the plan, and I will be doing that soon enough. I'm pretty sure it'll work. So that's uh, that's actually a plan which will be going on. So there will be a bit of a change, well, a bit of an upgrade, a little bit of a minor upgrade from the quality of my videos, uh, more, perhaps more interesting ones. Finally going to get out and about a bit. And uh, theoretically, with that handy cam thing, that video cam, I can potentially do uh, even mini movies and stuff if I get some people involved and stuff. So... We'll see how it goes with that, but mostly just the same old, same old, Daniel doing his thing. No major changes yet, but the year is not over, and the decade has only just begun. So we'll see what comes, and something might change, I don't know, but 
For now I'm content, for now I'm happy, and life's rolling on, much the same as it's done this past age. How's your father? Jeez.